This is Dr. Dulac. I wanted to go over with you some of my post-op instructions. You'll have these in writing and my cell phone's at the bottom. If you have any questions, reach out. Eat to tr comfort, drink to comfort, brush and floss to comfort, physical activity to comfort. You can eat or drink wherever you want. Foods with spicy foods, foods with sharp edges, you know, avoid if it bothers the site. I do want you to brush and floss, maybe tender or gentle in the area. For post-op pain management, over the counter is Tylenol Motrin if you can take both. If you need something stronger, give me a call. Physical activity to comfort as the blood pressure goes up, heart rate goes up. Might be a little sore, but no restriction on that. The only thing that's really going to delay the healing, don't suck through a straw for a couple days, avoid vigorous swishing for a couple days, and the main thing that would hinder the healing would be smoking. So if you don't smoke, there's not too much to worry about. If you do smoke, I would consider uh, some patches. The nicotine in the tobacco constricts the blood vessels and prevents the healing, and oftentimes smokers get a dry socket, which is kind of a painful, like shooting nerve pain at the site of the extraction. So if you do smoke and you're worried you might have a dry socket, give us a call at the office and there's some medicated paste I can put down in there. But if you're not a smoker, honestly, you don't have to worry about too much. We'll give you some gauze to take home. If it's bleeding at all, just bite on the gauze. Good home remedy is a tea bag, or uh, you can do ice on the outside of the face. So if you have any issues with bleeding, either, and the gauze isn't doing it, either a tea bag or ice on the outside of the face. So that covers pain management, physical activity, eating, drinking, brushing, and flossing. You can do warm compresses after the first 72 hours if you want. If your pain isn't managed by over-the-counter pain medicine, give us a call. I'll put in something stronger for you. Do take any antibiotic uh, that we prescribe to completion. Amoxicillin or penicillin is our go-to if you don't have allergy to it. Uh, if you need an antibiotic, I'll let you know and get you one after the procedure. You don't have to worry too much about the healing. After the first three to five days, the clot will be pretty stable. It'll start to scab over. In about three to four to five weeks, the gum will be fully healed in the area. Uh, it might be a little dimpled or rough there. But over time, that will smooth out. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a call. The most common time for a post-op infection is about a week after the surgery. So about a week after, if it's starting to get worse and not better, let us know.